Alright guys, it's been a little while since my last video. I went uh, deer hunting. Those were my last three videos. And when I came back from deer hunting, it uh, duck season was pretty much about over. Uh, it got real cold and everything locked up before I had another opportunity to go back out. So now, duck season is over for central Iowa. It's been over since last week, the middle of last week. And uh, I took, before it got real super cold, I broke the boat down, got everything out of it, rolled it back into the backyard. So now it's uh, the weekend. Don't have a lot going on. It's negative 12 out. Don't really feel like being outside too much, so I'm going to be in the garage. So what I was going to do was uh, give you another glimpse of the boat without everything. And go through a little bit of the stuff that was in the boat. It obviously was a lot. It takes up pretty much the third stall of my garage. I took off all the grass panels. Uh, I was really afraid. Well, for one, I didn't want to store them all folded up. And uh, it's real grass, so it will mold and stuff. I didn't want to hang it outside. My garage is pretty full as it is. So I thought if I bundled it back up the way I purchased it, I could uh, store it better. Uh, the decoys, little heater, kind of the stuff that was in the boat. Like I said, it takes up, there was a lot of, a lot of stuff in there. It takes up the third stall in my garage. And if the temperature is this cold, I might as well try to get my car back in here. So that's what I'll be working on. And right now I'm going to kick on the heater, knock down the temperature a little bit. Or increase the temperature, warm it up in here. going. I shut off the great big torpedo heater and they got the twin tank going. I don't like to get too cold. The Mr. Buddy is the twin tank. I use that one in the boat. That's a pretty good heater. Now, like I was kind of saying a little bit ago, I got I ended up the season with four dozen decoys. I was going to show you something. I have some of these older decoys that are in pretty good shape. But for packing, hunting, uh, packing, hunting, I don't know if you can see that. It's got a hollow keel, lot, lot lighter. So for next year, I think I'm going to end up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to switch out. Some of the decoys have these uh, weights on there, and I hate these weights. I just picked out all this weeds and stuff that uh, accumulate on there. I'm going to change things up just a little bit more. I'm always changing something, but I'm going to take these hollow keels, put them in bags so that we can pack and hunt some places, give ourselves every opportunity, every possible opportunity we could get for some of these smaller places and uh, the weighted keels I'll use in the boat but I just thought maybe you'd like to see that because I noticed a lot of guys walk in hunt these are a lot lighter and they work great I mean they were out in the water we used them this year um, they're just uh, older ones 
Well, I haven't got too much done other than putting heaters together. But it's warming up nice in here. Can't see my breath is good anymore. Oh, quick. Okay, just a quick run through of what I got dug out so far. I had three mojos, two drakes, one in. Three butt ducks, feeder ducks, and four geese with the heads that click in, and half a dozen teal decoys. Two chairs that I put real nice dense foam on. Pretty thick. Kept, it pretty, kept your rear pretty warm. Had two two poles that stick through the <coughs> handles on the boat. That'd keep us wherever we wanted to stay. They're pretty bent up. Probably need some new ones next year. <coughs> Twelve foot push pole. Anchor. Couple extra props, fire extinguishers, fire extinguisher, and life jackets, and whistles, and stuff like that are boaters' uh, rules and regulations. A couple batteries. I think that's about it. You know, this grass, the frame, everything adds up in weight. The boat got heavier and heavier. So, uh, I pull the engine off completely, keep it in the garage over the winter. Uh, pretty soon when I get this a little more organized, I'll take you outside, show you what's left of the old John boat for the winter. Alright guys, so I got the garage cleaned up, third stall, got stuff put away, at least for now until spring. Uh, I got all the grass and four dozen decoys up there in that little corner. You can see it. Got stuff up there. Three layout blinds, uh, mojos. Yeah, the boat's kind of a catch-all. The other boat. It there's five dozen decoys in there. My old pair of waders. It's just. Until spring, it kind of takes the blunt of storing stuff. Uh, mud motors under that boat. Nothing else. I can get my car in here. And that kind of really, <coughs> excuse me, really kind of ends the 2016 duck season. I'm going to take you outside here in just a second. Show you the boat. Alright guys, it's probably warmed up a little bit to about negative six now, but there's the boat. I took all the grass off the blind. It's still on there. I'll be able to hang the blind on, on the fence. Uh, <coughs> well, it's just cold. Take your breath away. <coughs> Um, I told you about, I made a tongue to extend, that's all put away, uh, the light, the lights will stay on, but everything else is taken out, it's back down to being a John boat, and, uh, I'll be here for the winter. The light bar, actually, I'm going to pull off and see if I can fix it. But uh, towards the end of the season, this one section right, right here, uh, quit working, <coughs> and uh, I really like the light bar. So I'm gonna see if I can get it fixed up. Otherwise, I might put, you know, some more of the little ones so I can aim them in all different directions because they they were a lot brighter than what I thought they were gonna be. Oh yeah, I guess I'd add one one other thing is that uh, I keep pretty busy through the winter too so 
if you follow me, I'm probably out uh, a little hard water fishing, ice fishing, and then also I try to hit the river every now and again for a walleye. Uh, I don't usually have a lot of luck on it, but you never know. It's always it's fishing. Um, so thanks for following me through the duck season. Uh, really enjoyed it. The season was not very productive in terms of ducks, but all your comments were great, and I really appreciate them. Thank you very much. And please uh, like, subscribe, and comment. You guys be safe out there.